Hey, YouTubers, how's it going today? We got a general problem here with the old Ford. No start issue. We're rolling on a 7.3 direct injection. Generation 1, I believe. It might be Generation 2 direct. Okay, we gotta go back into the cab. Persuasion. Persuasion. Well, if we can't make the call, I'm gonna hold it. No, I do it. All right, and they leave just enough room. I believe they call that a sound resonator box. And deep down inside here, you will see the fuel bowls. This switch up front here is your drain cock for your water. And you can hear, no fuel. More tools. 1996 to 06. This thing is 21 years old. 21. That's a long time to live. I'm almost double that age. There's almost zero YouTube videos on how to change this. So I really hope that uh, the information I'm uh, giving you here is going to help you out. And I'll try to explain the best here of what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this wrench because I don't have a special tool. So I want to use my wrench as a torque device so that I can unscrew the cap, which actually worked out really well. Okay. Make sure there's nothing in there. We're going to drop any dirt inside. Okay. Unscrew the bowl. Lid. And out falls a fuel filter that is very dirty with no fuel in the bowl. All right. Gasket. Dip your fingers inside. Diesels don't run without fuel. Well, now we're gonna go find a bottle to put fuel in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour some fuel into here, and we're gonna fill up the fuel bowl. I'm gonna put the filter back in, seal up the system. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's try to do this without spilling fuel all over the place. Clean diesel. Yeah, winter diesel, Canada. And we're gonna try to get some fuel in that bowl. Oh, let's not spill much all over the top. One more.
All right. Well, next step, let's drop in our dirty old fuel filter. Oh yeah. Now we're getting fuel. Oh, and do not pinch your gasket. Whatever you do. That gasket gets pinched. You will have air leaks. Oh, and it wants to fall inside. Just make sure that this old girl seats. Okay. Screw that on good and tight. And that fancy little tool that we just make sure you give it a good torque. All right. Oh, GoPro's gonna need to get cleaned up. All right. Keys. Viper system. We're not going command start. We wanna do this all on our own here right now. It's a nice day out. But we are still gonna give it a three shot on the glow plugs. And let's pray. Sounded promising. Wonder if there's any fuel left in the bowl. We got air in the lines. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to reprime this fuel bowl again, I believe. Okay, let's reprime this fuel bowl. And uh, we know I got it to fire, so we don't have any major mechanical problems. I was worried about possible uh, glow plug driver. Uh, we were worried about our, uh, um, our injector, um, wiring harnesses these are prone to failure in the 7.3s like mad uh, cam position sensors are known to fail like crazy so, let me crack the fuel cock on the front let's see if we can hear any fuel come out yep barely okay so let's take this Unscrew it one more time. We're gonna fill this bugger right back up. She's gonna get filled right back up. We're gonna put another container of fuel in the bowl. And remember your gaskets. There's a little bit of fuel. Yeah, that would have been my knee on the horn. And we can tell. Oh yeah, that thing's pretty low already. Oh, maybe we'll call this how to prime a 7.3. All right. Dripping fuel all over my dirty motor. Seat that across the fuel pole. Well, that's what I call it anyway. Maybe I didn't have to put that much fuel in it. Gushing all over the top of the motor again, but... There is a spot for him to run down. So, that casket doesn't look pretty. There we go. All right. Come on. 
Okay. One more on the glow plugs. And we know she's firing. And uh, from there, yeah, I'm gonna wash up a little bit, get this diesel off my hands. I'm gonna come back out and uh, we'll make part two and we're gonna button her together. All right, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.